Hi everyone, this is Blockus, and in today's video I'll show you my latest Create.3 contraption which happens to be a multi-purpose machine with an analog counter at its heart. This machine can function as a straight-up item counter, a push-button digital counter, or a simple addition calculator. So let's go ahead and take a look. As I just mentioned, the heart of this contraption is this analog counter right here. Whenever the system is activated, most of the magic happens in this area. There are two Create.3 concepts that allow this counter to work. One is the controlled flow of items through funnels, the other is supplying controlled rotation to extend pistons to predetermined lengths. In other words, sending a pulse to this block right here will signal the system to extend the piston by a single block. As you see, the piston is pushing a redstone contact which will activate another redstone contact wherever it stops. Each one of these redstone contacts has a redstone link above it that corresponds to a specific number. This way we can relay the results of the counting to the digital display which we will get to later in this video. So let's give this push button input a few presses to see the system in action. This button is simply sending a pulse to this block over here which in turn deactivates the clutches and releases the piston just long enough to move one block forward. I'm using creative motors to set the maximum speed to power up the system. So if you want to run the system at lower speeds, you'll have to increase the length of your pulses to keep the extension distances the same. I'm stopping at 9 to point out that if I press the button one more time, the redstone contact will move over here and will trigger two things. First, it will tell this piston that we've reached the maximum length and retract it all the way back to zero. At the same time, it'll tell the next counter to move up one spot. And all of that is done with redstone links. And this way we'll have a 1 on the second display and a 0 on the first one, denoting a 10. One more press and you'll see that the first counter is the one moving again. After I designed the 10s on these counters, I realized that simply triggering them will successfully reset the system back to 0. So I have a button here that does that and I also have one set up over here with a redstone link. And as you see, everything resets to 0 as I click the button and the displays all show zeros. So as soon as I finished building this counter and saw how expandable it is, I decided to add an item input to the system so we can count items placed in a certain chest. And that turned out to be much easier than I thought. Simply put, I just needed a funnel that only allows one item at a time, and a content observer pointing at that funnel. The content observer will send a pulse with each item that passes through this funnel and send it to our system with this line of redstone. As you notice here, this funnel is currently locked. I did that to accommodate the calculator functionality that we'll get to in a minute and it only means that when I place items in this chest they won't get counted until I click the result button. But after the result button is clicked, this item counter is active and will instantly count anything you place in the chest until the reset button is pressed. And this finally brings us to our simple addition calculator. This right here would be a nightmare to build in vanilla and I would likely have not attempted it in this manner. The input panel is pretty simple, just a few buttons and coded redstone links. Where it gets interesting is up here where each pulse from a redstone link will release a specific number of blocks on the conveyor belt. I'm using creative crates so I don't have to keep refilling but any inventory would work just fine here. So as soon as the right number of items is released, everything gets deposited in the chest but goes no further. This funnel here is unlocked by pressing the plus button which gives us a real calculator feel and also leaves some room for expansion to other mathematical functions like subtraction or multiplication sometime in the future. So let me just do a quick calculation here to show you. I'm gonna press 5 plus 9 which should be a 14. Now let's press the result button and watch this thing in action. Isn't this awesome? It took me a really long time to get all of this together and it really feels great to see it in action. One interesting fact about this system is that it isn't actually a calculator, it's more of an adder. So if you press a button twice or three times, there's currently no protection against that and it will continue to add items. This flaw exists because this is mostly an item counting system, but I can already see multiple ways to solve this issue and turn this into a real calculator. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see. And finally, let's look at our 7 segment wireless display setup. As I first started to set this up, I had my older display design that kept everything hooked to the screen. But then I kept making mistakes and having issues debugging them, so I decided to make everything flat and easier to map. Each section here controls the screen in front of it and each of these redstone links correspond to a single segment on that screen. So the redstone links are placed in the right order so that only the required segments are powered on. I know this looks crazy and might sound confusing but it's a 
lot simpler than a vanilla display decoder. If you'd like to learn more about how this works, I suggest you download the MBT file I have linked in the description and try to break a few of these redstone links and play around with the setup. And this concludes all the information I wanted to give you about this contraption. Let me know what you think and thank you for watching.